OpenKM disposes of an SDK for the creation of application in .NET. We are now going to see an example of how to create an application through SDK. We download the DLLs from the web service as well as the forms. We create a new application in Visual Studio. In this case, an application in Windows Forms. We extract the project's DLLs. For that, we have created a file called lib. And once extracted, we add them. We add the tree form components that sets up a handler, a dictionary, and a web service. In the same set, we will implant the handler. And for the dictionary, we will use the dictionary helper that allows us to upload property files. We download the OKM Utils DLL that has the dictionary helper and add them to the libraries. We reference the project and we can use it. We also define the web service from the factory and in this case, we're going to string it with 
an open can 6.2 professional version. We complete the parameters that the web service needs local host, the user, and the password. We create the handler's methods. The tree handler. We will show an alert message when a click has been accepted, whether on the accept button, like the cancel button. A dialog box will pop up when the application starts. And now we will add the translation files. Here we have the translations. We save it within the project's resource file. and we will point it to the project. This will be an inlaid resource that should always copy itself And we go back to the documentation and we see how the dictionary must load. and we proceed in changing the resources URL 
with the correct one. We start the application. We can see the tree appear. In this case, we can see the translation that are still needed. We add them to the translation file. And we'll see that when we select Accept, will appear the root of the file selected. We start again the application and we'll see that now when we select accept in this file this pack will appear.